Hey guys, what's up? It's Christine Seal, the High Level Queen, and today we are going to talk about how to set up Amazon SES inside of High Level. Now, even if you don't have High Level, you can still use these instructions to set up Amazon SES as long as you use SMTP authentication. So make sure that you like and subscribe to my channel and that way you won't miss any important updates from me and if you don't already have a high level account you can get a free trial in the description and you'll also have access to my high level like a pro course and the snapshot bonuses and with that being said let's get started okay so the first thing you're going to want to do is go to uh, google and type in amazon ses by the way, the audio is not going to match because I did the whole thing and realized I forgot to unmute my microphone. Yay, silly me. Go ahead and click sign in and create a new AWS account. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to put in your username, your email address, your password, and uh, you're going to click create an account. I had some trouble because I already have an AWS account. That's why it wasn't working for me. So go ahead and put in all your information and uh, then you're going to click on submit. Now, what it's gonna do is it's actually going to send you a confirmation email and you're going to wanna go check that email and click on the confirmation email. Go ahead and log in with your username and password now. And uh, I use LastPass, so sometimes I have some issues. Okay, now what you're gonna do is you're gonna see the screen. You're gonna go to the search bar and you're gonna type in SES. Click on Simple Email Service. And you're gonna have this dashboard, don't worry about it for now on the left. Click on domains and uh, click on verify a new domain. Go ahead and put your domain in here and click on verify this domain. Now, the first thing you're gonna wanna do is pause the video, go log into your domain registrar and whether it's GoDaddy, Bluehost, Ionos, whatever, go log into that domain name and go to the DNS settings for the domain that you just added. All right, so you're gonna be um, logged into your registrar now. So the first thing I want you to do is copy that first record and um, copy it to your clipboard. We're gonna create a TXT record. So you're gonna go down to where it says TXT. You're gonna click on add a record and you're gonna paste that value in there. And then you're gonna copy the next one. You're gonna paste it in text value and click on save. Okay, now we're gonna go back to Amazon and if you want to route your domain's incoming mail to Amazon SES, add the following MX record to your domain's DNS settings. I don't want to do that, so I'm going to go ahead and skip it, but um, you're going to do it in here, and the priority is 10, then you're going to copy the name, and you're going to paste it, and then you're going to copy the value without the 10, and paste that in the points too. Okay. Now you can see that it says that it's pending verification here. And we're gonna go ahead and click into it because we're gonna have to add some additional records here. So go ahead and click on DKIM and click that blue button. And we're gonna have to add some C name records now. So go back over to your domain registrar, go to add record for C name, copy the name in there without the domain, paste it in, go back to value, copy the whole thing in there, paste it in. Okay, next one. Do the same exact thing. We're gonna have two more records. So go ahead and do the same exact thing here.
And the last one, we're going to do the same thing. And save it. Now what we're going to do is we are going to set up the mail from domain. Now you can put anything in here that you want. I'm just going to put SES and hit the blue button. And now we've got a couple more records here to add. So go ahead and copy the value and do not copy the 10. We're going to go back over to our registrar and add an MX record. And we're going to copy the value. We're going to paste uh, 10 in there. We're going to put SES in the host. And under points two, we're going to paste that. And then um, the next part, what we're going to do is copy the value, go back over to the registrar. We're going to add a TXT record. And we're going to paste it in there. Click on Save. And it looks like it verified already, which is cool. Now, it could take between 24 to 48 hours for yours to be verified, but there should be a little retry button on yours that you can click uh, to try it again. It says pending verification for the DKIM. All right, so go back to domains, um, check that, go back to email address, and then add your email address. I always put my support email address in here because I don't want people emailing my personal email. They're going to send you an email to validate the email address. So I'm going to go over to my other screen and I'm going to check my tickets for an email from Amazon. Okay, so I verify the email, uh, got the email from my provider. So now we're going to go to SMTP settings and we are going to copy that server name there. We're going to use that and uh, put that in high level. So we're going to go to settings and we're going to go to SMTP and mailgun service. And then we're going to click on add service and go to other here. Paste uh, or uh, sorry, type Amazon, then paste that in there. And we're going to do 465 here. No, these aren't right, so we're going to go ahead and clear that out. All right, so now what you're going to do is you're going to click on Create My SMTP Credentials. And this is not the username that you want here. Um, so what we're actually going to do is click Create. And we are going to download the credentials. This is very, 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 very important. You are not going to ever see this. You're not going to get this back. So go ahead and save to your computer and then click on show user. Uh, and then you're going to paste the username and the password in here with the email that you used, that you validated in the previous step. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, click save. Now, uh, this didn't work, and that's because I'm still in the sandbox on Amazon. So um, you're going to actually have to get out of the sandbox on Amazon before you can set this up. So I'm going to show you how to do that real quick. So we're kind of lost here. We're going to uh, go back to the top, type in SES. We're going to go back to the email screen. And uh, we are going to make sure we're verified. Okay, so we're verified. Um, it says I didn't validate my email. I'm going to check that one more time. Okay, so I went and validated my email again. Okay, now we're going to go to sending statistics. This says I'm in sandbox access and I need to request a sending limit increase. I'm going to go ahead and click the blue button and going to open up a support ticket uh, with Amazon. So this is pretty tricky here, guys. You are going to want to be as thorough as humanly possible because uh, you only get two chances here. Um, basically, like you're going to want to put in the uh, case description. Um, you're going to want to be super, super thorough and 
uh, put in as much detailed information as you can. So the first time I did this, I uh, kind of tried to cut corners and copy and pasted some things and ended up getting declined. Um, so I uh, put in a more detailed request the second time and uh, got declined again. They said that I was never allowed to, uh, or I would not get a reply ever, ever again. So um, you've got to be really careful what you put in here, guys. Uh, I'm just going to paste in here the first, what I put in here the first time. Um, I have a digital marketing business, personal brand, and I provide examples of legitimate emails I use. I personally view bounces and unsubscribes every single day and remove them from my list to maintain a clean list. Um, so you're going to want to be as detailed as possible here, guys, and you're going to want to read the uh, the service terms. And, and this just says, you know, we don't send unsolicited messages. Our emails are in response to user actions. Um, and I'm just going through and answering the questions here. Uh, we only send messages to registered users. We put unsubscribe links at the bottom of every email. So um, you've got 5,000 characters. So uh, you need to type more than I did, okay? Because this, this reason was not good enough for some reason. Uh, and I even escalated it with the senior support team and it still wasn't good enough. So now I have taken to the public forums. It seems like people that go to the public forums um, get the access. So that's what I'm trying next. Uh, so you're going to want to go ahead, fill this out with as detailed information as possible and hit submit at the bottom. All right. And then when you're done and it could be 24 to 48 hours, uh, you're going to get an approval or denial. After you get that uh, approval out of Sandbox, you should be able to add this to your provider list in high level. Now, this email address uh, that I had highlighted there is not actually verified inside of Amazon. That's why you can't add the account before you get out of Sandbox, because in Sandbox, you can only add your own email and send to your own email. So it's not going to work outside of the sandbox guys. All right, so hopefully that helps you. Uh, if you guys like my video, make sure that you like and subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss any important updates from me. And I'll see you guys next time.